Hi there, class. Mr. Scott here again, taking time to think about how I can infer characters' feelings as revealed through thought, dialogue, and behavior. When we read fiction stories, sometimes characters don't directly say how they feel. So we have to infer and kind of read into what they are saying, what they are thinking, and their behaviors or actions. So it's really critical that we as readers take time to infer characters' feelings in order that we can deeper comprehend the story and what's happening in it. That we as the reader can relate to those characters and the story and the situation going on. There's, I know for me, there's plenty of fiction I've been reading that I really can relate to the characters because of how they feel, whether it's said directly or it's something I have to infer. So today we'll take time with two stories we've read before called La Mariposa and Better Than You. And we'll take time, I'll read short sections from each book and we'll think about how is the character feeling and how do you know? Maybe it's through thought, dialogue, or behavior. So think about Francisco from La Mariposa as I read this first paragraph and think about how he is feeling and why. Just as Francisco was about to reach into the jar to gently touch the caterpillar, the bell rang. Kids lined up outside the classroom doorway and then walked in quietly and took their seats. Some of them looked at Francisco and giggled. They made him nervous. He turned his head away from them and looked at the caterpillar in the jar. He did this every time someone looked at him. So what do you notice about Francisco, how he's feeling based on maybe actions or thoughts or words. He didn't really say anything there or think anything. It was more of, again, the behavior. And through his action, what we have found out here is actually he was self-conscious. And how do we know that? Well, there was an action he took and he looked away, Francisco looked away when others looked at him. So we know again that he looked away and he would look at the caterpillar in the jar and that would tell us that he's self-conscious. He doesn't really understand much English or understand much of what's going on in the story. So now think about this as well to this section. I'll read couple short paragraphs here and think about, again, how Francisco is feeling and how do you know? Later, Arthur told Francisco in Spanish that Curtis said the jacket was his and that he had lost it at the beginning of the year. He also told Francisco that the teacher said Curtis and he were being punished. They had to sit on the bench during the recesses that week. For the rest of the day, Francisco could not even pretend he was paying attention. He laid his head on top of his desk and closed his eyes couldn't even imagine himself flying over the fields to Papa anymore. The teacher called his name, but Francisco did not answer. He heard her walk up to him. She gently shook him by the shoulders. Again, he did not answer. Miss Scalapino must have thought he was dead asleep because she left him alone, even when it was time for recess and everyone left the room. So how is he feeling in that section? And how do you know? Well, I know for me, I notice that he is feeling quite sad. Why? Because he had some thought, he had some thoughts, and he couldn't even imagine flying over fields to Papa. So again, actions, thoughts that tell us how they feel. It didn't say it directly in the story, but we know through the actions and thoughts, this is how Francisco was feeling in the story. Now let's continue on to the next story here, Better Than You. There's a character in here named Tyler. I'll read again a short section here. Last Tuesday morning, I was in the middle of showing Charisse, my new music player, when Jake came over. What's that? He asked. It's a sound launch, replied Cherise. Tyler just bought it. You're kidding. A sound launch? 
You should have gotten a two-inch 300, said Jake. Then he went on and on about all the great things his music player could do that mine could not. I just stood there, thinking of all the places I'd rather be than right there with Jake. So what actions, thoughts, or, behavior, or um, dialogue happen there that tells you how Jake feels? Well, I can tell you his thoughts, right? His thoughts did not want to be there. He didn't want to be there. He was thinking of other places to go. So that told you that he was just not feeling good enough. Not feeling good enough. Not feeling good enough. Like he is not, not feeling like he, like he is not good enough. Sorry there. Like he isn't good enough. Feeling like he isn't good enough, right? And these are the thoughts because he's thinking going elsewhere, right? All right, so here's another. I'll read this as I read this. Think about what actions, thoughts, or dialogue are happening in order to tell you how Jake is feeling. I ran up to him and said, come on, Jake, don't go. What if Nico, th Nico throws better than us? He's cool. Let's just toss the Frisbee around. It'll be fun. Nah, I'm out of here. You coming? I looked at Jake and then at Nico. No, thanks. I'm going to stay here with Nico. Whatever, muttered Jake as he turned and headed home by himself. So how is Jake feeling there? And what evidence from the text can you tell? Well, now he's feeling more confident. And how do you know Jake is feeling more confident? Because he says... What does he say? An exact quote that he says, I'm going to stay here with Nico. So again, when we read fiction, it's very possible that characters will not share their feelings directly. We'll have to infer and kind of read into the thoughts dialogue and behavior that happen in the story. So today, as you take time reading a fiction story, take time to notice, how does a character feel? And how do you know? How did you infer? Was it through actions? Was it through thoughts? Was it through, oh, sorry, forgot a section there. Or was it through words? Right? So, again, take time to read fiction today and think about how does your character feel and how do you know? Actions, thoughts, or words? Have a great day reading today.